last winter's bitter temperatures and deep snow makes it hard to believe that much of anything can grow in the UP. But a handful of ambitious farmers at the MSU Extension Farm have some new tools to make the impossible possible. Last week, they laid the seeds for change, building a hoop house just down the street from their headquarters in Chatham. Once finished, the high tunnel will allow them to plant crops earlier in the season, regardless of Mother Nature's scorn. It's a tool. You buy a tractor, we always say teaching that a tractor allows you to farm more space. This greenhouse or hoop house or high tunnel allows us to farm more time. The hoop house is made of steel poles and trusses, which will be covered in layers of plastic sheeting to control the climate. When it's completed, it will be 30 feet wide and 192 feet long. Because it's so large, organizers hope to not only extend the growing season by a few months, but to the entire year. So it allows us to use this instead of four months or six months, you know, maybe 10 months, maybe 12 months. And that's, again, part of what we're experimenting because it's so big. We're hoping that this might even allow us to go the whole 12 months. But students won't be the only ones to benefit from working on the farm. As the extension becomes rooted into the community, the staff plans on helping new and novice farmers grow crops of their own. Different workshops and classes will be offered for prospective farmhands of all skill levels. And we're kind of an open door or have an open door policy here so that people can come to us, try to get any sort of information that we might be able to share with them. But uh, yeah, whatever people need, we're trying to provide it. But teaching skills isn't the only goal. Farmers at the incubator also want to get the community thinking about exactly where their food comes from. I never really thought about where my food came from. I was really into convenience. I loved getting fast food or whatever and uh, it wasn't really until I was 20 I was living in Denver Colorado and there was a snowstorm that winter and the city shut down for two days there was a really heavy weather event and I couldn't get milk and eggs at the grocery store after that and it was the first time that I really considered that all my food was coming from the grocery store and I never really thought about how it was grown or where it came from from that day forward I started you know on this journey of you know tracing the origins of the food that I like to eat and how that sustains me and learning about a lot, whole lot of other different vegetables along the way that are really nutritious for you. So I've been volunteering and traveling and working on different farms all over the country and the world ever since and that's led me here. While it's just in its beginning phases, the farm has already planted potatoes in the surrounding fields which are ripe for expansion and plans on bringing the operation inside the hoop house sooner than later. And as more crops are grown and harvested, they'll be sold into the community, allowing those who helped cultivate the effort reap what they sow. I think what a lot of people here in the UP are looking for is how to be healthy, how to reduce health care costs, and much of that comes with the food that you eat and the quality of that food that you eat, and that it's you know, grown with passion, you know, grown with intention, and it's going to help you be healthier. Professor Bierenbaum says that a cup of soil can have as many living organisms as there are people on the planet. That's six to seven billion building blocks of life, giving new meaning to having the world in the palm of your hand. For ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarsitano.